Have you ever noticed how dogs tend to look like their owners? Or maybe that their personalities seem to fit each other? Or could that all just be in our imagination? I have six dogs in the back of the building and I got six owners right here, but Beans and I have no idea which dog belongs to which owner. We're gonna see if we can match them all perfectly and go six for six. I have confidence. And to help us handle the dogs today, we have my friend Doha. He's so qualified, and by that I mean he's completely unqualified because his biggest fear in life is dogs. I'm terrified. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh. I'm scared of this one. Do you think you could match the dog to the owner? Let's find out. Good luck, Doha. Good luck, man. James, why don't you go ahead and introduce the first dog? Yeah, sure. He's a fuzzy ball of energy weighing in at nine pounds. Rio! Oh my god. How are you feeling, Doha? My wife has this size of dog, so I'm fine with this one. You seem a little nervous still. To help Doha ease out of his fear of dogs, we're gonna bring out the dogs from smallest to biggest. And trust me, there's a very big dog at the end of this video. I think I like Rio because he's not barking at me. That's the problem. Whenever I see a dog, he barks at me, and that freaks me out. And then I run. Tiny dog could mean tiny home. What is everyone's living situation like? How big is your apartment or your house? My apartment is about 1,200 square feet. I would say like medium size, three bedrooms. I think it's 1,500 square feet. It's a studio. I live in a townhouse. It's uh, three bedrooms. 1,000 square foot apartment. That dog's so cute. I want to pet it. Are you going to hold Rio? Are you going to try? Uh. There you go. That's close enough. There you go. Oh, oh. Dude, I figured it out. What? A patterned sweater, yes. right? Only one person in there has a patterned shirt on, and it's Leo. Rio. But here's the kicker. Leo, Rio. Oh, bro. Yes. We believe that Rio's owner is Leo. Will Rio's real owner call him? Leo? Oh! Yeah, baby! That's a yeah. good start! Perfect score on this. All right, we're one for six. Introduce the next one. Weighing in at 20 pounds, welcome, Kiali! Uh. Apparently, Charlie can do some tricks, Doha. You should ask him to, like, uh, sit down and roll over and stuff. If he comes at me, ask I'm done. Sit, Doha. Sit, sit down. down. Not it's totally. not working. Charlie seems very dependent. Super dependent. My take is that the more dependent, the more time they spend with their owners, which means they have to belong to somebody who works from home. Well, let's figure out, do they work from home or not? I work from home. I work from home. I don't work from home. I work from home. I don't work from home. Sasha does not work from home. Casey also does not work from home. For Charlie, I am torn between Sasha and Angel. When Charlie was barking, do you see the way Sahar was reacting? Yeah, I agree it has to be one of those three. My vibe says it's Angel. I have to go with the vibe. Also, if I continue with my tactic, uh huh. Charlie's Angel. Oh, that's big. We believe that the owner of Charlie is Angel. Will the owner of Charlie please call for him? Charlie? No! Bro. We were so close. Did I try it? You can, yeah. Roll. Roll over. Roll over. <laughs> All right, we're one and one right now. We got we it. We cannot here. afford another L in We our got record, it bro. from here on out. We got it from here on out. The next dog! Say bonjour to this pup! Yay! <laughs> Practice that uh, baby voice, Doha. Hey! Bro, I'm sweating. French bulldogs are actually bred by humans. Like they're not a natural species of dog, which means that dog is a designer dog. Probably like a five to $10,000 dog, which means whoever owns that dog has to be making some money. What do you guys do for work? I'm a technical recruiter. I'm a waitress. I'm an oil painter. I'm a veterinarian student. I feel like this could be Shasha's dog because these types of dogs are like uh, medical nightmares. Right. And the person that is best fit to take care of this dog would be a vet. Right. How do you calm down a dog? You pet them. Oh. You gotta pull them in a little bit. Oh. Just sit next to the dog and try petting. Like this? Oh. Remember, if you run, they're gonna chase you. I think it's Brandon, dude. Why? I think that they have similar personalities. Brandon is very like chill, easygoing, and that's a really chill, happy dog. Logically, Sasha is the answer, but based on personality, it's Brandon. It's Brandon. If this works, we are proving that you can judge a dog by its owner based on personality type. I think it's it, man. We are gonna guess that the owner of Shady 
is Brandon. Will the owner of Shady please call him over? Shady, come here. No! Bro, we can't keep doing this. No! We can't keep doing this. Why? These dogs do have issues and they're spendy. Yeah. I was like, well, because I work in the industry, I could do it because, you know, things are half off or free for me. Dang it! We knew logically that it was Sasha. We're down bad back this here, bro. Bad, bro. We are taking L's, yeah. Do you feel like the way to conquer that fear is to get a dog? I think that's too extreme to get a dog. Like, I was way more scared than I am now. It's getting better, but I'm still very scared. What do you think has worked? Just like meeting more dogs and like trying to overcome. All right, we need to make a comeback here, bro. Why don't you uh, do the intro? Yeah, sure. Everything this dog licks turns to gold. King Midas the Golden Noodle. Yo, you gotta be calm, bro. He's happy to see you. <laughs> oh my god. I've actually seen Doha in the same room as a golden doodle before, and it did not go well. <laughs> Doha, you just gotta relax, bro. Could we get some treats for Doha to help him out? Ooh. Ooh. Bro, baby, no, 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 bro, no, 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 don't give it to me. I'm scared of this one. Maybe Sam, you can go help him. Come here, it's okay. You got it, you got it. Good, go. <laughs> good boy. So this dog type is the one type of dog that I could have because it's hypoallergenic, which means that if you're allergic to dogs, you could have this type of dog. Who of you guys is or is not allergic to dogs? I am not uh, allergic to dogs. Not uh, allergic at all. No, I'm not allergic. Okay, no one's allergic to dogs. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> What? I just have never seen you get so excited around a dog before. <laughs> it's awesome. I feel like Casey kind of gives me poodle mix vibes with her hair. If we're going off of owners look like they're dogs, the closest person to Midas is definitely Casey. Yo, you're gonna have to take the reins. You got this from here. You got it. Go ahead, go ahead. You got it. You got it. Sasha, you please help. <laughs> See, look, we can dance. <laughs> he just pulled Sasha in there. Doha, you gotta hold the reins, bro. <sighs> There is not a person that looks more like Midas yeah. than Casey. Oh! Thoughts? Yes! The personality thing was debunked, but the looks thing, Casey could prove that right. Let's see. All right, guys, we've made our choice. We believe that Midas' owner is Casey. Will Midas' owner call him over? Midas, come here, boy. Oh! oh dang no. it! Dang it! He doesn't bite. Here you go. Oh. oh. This is oh, bad, bro. That's so sweet. This is going bad for us. We really messed up, bro. We are uh, three to one now. We have a 50-50 shot now of getting this right. This is bad if we mess this up. They're telling me that you're gonna need some help with this next one. So I'm gonna send Sam out there to help you out, okay? Yay. But you have to hold the reins. I'll try to. No, there's no try, they're just doing. This next dog has some short little legs and a long body. Please welcome Conan. You have to stay here. Okay. You got it? He's strong, though. Oh, you gotta he's hold stronger on. than me. All right, we only have two dogs left, so we're gonna try to match up Conan and his owner, and then we'll bring in the final dog to have an opportunity to switch if we want. You want a treat? Can you sit? Oh, oh, good boy. That's so sweet. All right, boys. The dogs that are more anxious are usually people who work from home, right? This dog being so calm would lead me to believe that it's Casey's dog. You're a waitress, right? So she wouldn't be home. I feel like all of our reasoning that we've done over the last few rounds has obviously not been working out. We've been taking some L's. No! We were so close. No! We can't keep doing this. We knew logically that it was Sasha. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go off of gut. Just purely based on vibe, I think this dog belongs to Angel. I agree. Let's see the next dog. And then we can always switch our pick on the final round. She thinks that she's a lap dog. At an astounding two and a half feet tall, 150 pounds. Oh my God. Please welcome Dame, the great Dame. Hey. Oh my. Hi, Stoa. Pack just that baby voice. Hi, girl. Do, how you feeling, bro? You're doing so good. She's so big. The great Danes, I think, are actually pretty chill. Hi. Definitely would be a good guard dog. I kind of get the vibe that Angel would be walking that giant dog down the street. Sam, what are you thinking? How do you feel about this? The chain around Dane's neck and Angel's watch are both gold. I like that, that's big. Casey has decided to point out that she also has a gold chain on and gold earrings to make this harder. Okay, what about this? Casey, I believe, says that she was in a studio apartment. Yeah, you need room for a dog like this. But there's doggy daycares too. <laughs> 
That's, oh man. Casey, why are you doing this? We have 50-50 shot here. We can't afford another L. I feel like we would let Doha take the reins and see if he was our ringer on this one. Yeah, Doha. I think, I think it's your, your core right Doha's now. I think it's Doha's call. Right. That's too much pressure, but I would say Dame, Angel, Ponen is for Casey. I'm down to lock these in. Before we do that though, I just want to acknowledge how far you've come. This is crazy. Look at this image right here, Doha. It is crazy, bro. <laughs> at the beginning of this video, there was a tiny little dog terrifying you. And now you're holding a great Dane that weighs more than you. Yeah. So far, bro. Very proud. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Yeah. All right, we're locking our answer in. We believe that Dane belongs to Angel and Conan belongs to Casey. Sam, what are you thinking? I think it's flipped. Oh, I don't trust you or me. I think we gotta do what Doha says. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it would feel so bad though. We're locking it in. No! Will the owners of these dogs please call them over one by one? Oh. Yeah! You did it! Let's go! Our brother Doha had the answers the whole time. Oh! You saved the day, though. All right, I'm gonna try to get out of this room as fast as possible because I will end up in the hospital if I spend any more time here. If you wanna watch us guess bodybuilders IQ test, you can click the link at the end of this video. Turns out that guessing a dog based on their own personality is really, really hard. Three for six, half and half, that's pretty good. That's pretty much it, I'm leaving. Uh, uh, ooh. <laughs> you don't have to, easy, easy, I'm gonna give you. 